Did you catch this in Transformers, Dark of the Moon? When Sentinel Prime shot Iron Hit, he actually aimed it to Iron Hide's weapons, so that he can no longer use it. You can actually see the damaged weapon fall and Sentinel kick it away from Iron Hide. Did you know that in Coco? The Rivera family of shoemakers started in 1921, the same year Walt Disney made his first animation. Did you catch this in The Lion King? When Mufasa is explaining Simba's destiny, keep a lookout when he says, and it will rise with you, as the new king. At the word you, don't blink, or you'll miss the frame with the number 45 written between Simba's back and tail, a little technical note left behind by one of the artists, no doubt. Did you catch this hilarious detail in the Lego movie? While Emmett is being interrogated by Bad Cop, take a look at the robots on the computers. One of them is playing Solitaire, the ultimate game for anyone slacking off at work. Did you notice this in Minions? Check out the poor butler, Bob tortures with the belt. Does he look familiar? Well, if you saw Despicable Me 2 then you saw him serving tea to AFL director Silas Ramsbottom. Did you catch this in The Lion King? It's real hard to spot because it's out of focus, but when Timon introduces young Simba to the unappetizing world of bugs during Hakuna Matata, look on the back of a little brown bug in the upper right hand corner of the frame, and you'll be rewarded with a hidden Mickey sighting. Did you know that in Wally? -E? In one scene you can see Rex in the background, the dinosaur in Toy Story. Did you know that in Big Hero 6? Hans from Frozen can be seen on the most wanted board at the police station. Did you catch this in Wreck-It Ralph? As the characters are walking through the train station of Niceland, you can see a sign telling you the population is 224 times 2. It's a strange way to report a population, but it's actually a nod to gaming. 224 times 256 is the common resolution of an 8-bit game. Did you spot this in The Good Dinosaur? When a gopher takes a chomp out of Arlo and they both tumble back into the water, pause as soon as you can see the ground. Look down to the left and you'll find a familiar character Hank the Octopus. From Finding Dory. Did you notice this in Wally? -E? After Eve blows up all the by and large tanker ships, she says a few things to Wally -E in what sounds like gibberish before. She says directive turns out she's not speaking gibberish at all, but saying directive over and over while cycling through human languages, to see which one Wally -E understands. We hear her speak German, Japanese, then Swahili. Did you know that in Megamind? When Minion and Megamind are training HAL, the 2D platform is a reference to the original Nintendo Donkey Kong game. Did you know that in Cars? The King Strip crashes in his final race but makes it to the finish line. In 1992 NASCAR's King crashed in his final race but was able to finish the race, thanks to repairs by his race team. Did you catch this in Captain Marvel? A quick glance at Nick Fury's ID shows that his birthday is July 4, 1950. Not only is this the American Day of Independence, but it also just so happens to be Steve Rogers' birthday too. That's right, Nick Fury and Captain America share a birthday together. Did you notice this in Minions? Check out the crowd attending Scarlet. Overkill's appearance at Villain Con. Notice the gent in the sunglasses and hat? That's Chilean dictator, General Augusto Pinochet, who took power over Chile from 1973 to 1990, see kids. It pays to stay awake in history class. Did you know this in Transformers, Rise of the Beasts? In the next movie there are some interesting changes to the Autobot Mirage character in the original. The 1984 Transformers series Mirage was transformed into a Formula One race car. However, for Transformers, Rise of the Beasts, Mirage's alternate mode has been revised to a Porsche 964 sports car. This isn't the first time that Mirage has undergone a transformation in live-action movies. Transformers, Dark of the Moon Mirage appeared as a Ferrari Italia 458 sports car, but was renamed the Dino at Ferrari's request. Director Stephen Capel Jr. explained that the choice of the Porsche 964 was a deliberate tribute to Michael Bay's previous film, Bad Boys, from 1995, where the main actors drove a Porsche 964. Did you catch this in Ice Age, The Meltdown? Listen to Sid the Sloth annoy Manny and Diego with his songs. At one point he sings, if your species will continue clap your hands, and he's the only one who claps. This is actually accurate as his species is the only one not extinct, yet. Did you spot this in The Good Dinosaur? When a gopher takes a chomp out of Arlo and they both tumble back into the water, pause as soon as you can see the ground. Look down to the left and you'll find a familiar character Hank the Octopus. From Finding Dory. Did you know this about Ice Age? Sid the Sloth jumped outside his franchise to be an Easter egg in a rather unexpected film. 
In 2005's Robots watch the background in the scene when Rodney first arrives in Robot City, and you might just catch Sid as a robot. Did you notice this in Despicable Me? While Gru is floating in space and orbiting the moon, we see that the number on Gru Swan Lake ticket is 072069, July 20, 1969. Why is that date important? It's the date of the first moon landing, which Gru is seen watching in flashback. Did you catch this in Home Alone? While Kevin's parents are on the plane trying to figure out what they forgot, Peter's convinced he forgot to close the garage door. Well, in exterior shots of the house, you can see that, yep. He sure did. Did you catch this in Cars 2? You did if you stayed through the end credits. As all the travel paraphernalia rolls up, you get a good look at Mater's passport which says his birth date is January 12, 1957, the same as writer-director, John Lasseter. Did you see this in Cars 3? Jackson Storm has deep yellow stripes on his back. These aren't decorative lights, the stripes mean that he is a rookie car, and wearing them this is an official NASCAR rule. Check back in the original cars, and you'll see that Lightning had one long yellow stripe too. Did you know this about Monsters Incorporated? Check out the Hidden City Cafe. It's a tribute to a real-life cafe in Point Richmond, California where Pixar directors had lunch and came up with ideas for movies, including A Bug's Life, Monsters Incorporated, Finding Nemo, and Wally. -E. Did you catch this in Zootopia? Down in Little Rodentia, there's a little eatery called Lucky Cat Cafe. Does it look familiar? Because it's the same cafe Aunt Cass owns in San Francisco, in Big Hero 6. Did you catch this in Ralph Breaks the Internet? As Vanellope sings the Slaughter Race song, a shark pops out of a manhole with several animals in its mouth, as well as a license plate. Recognize the plate? It's the same one that can be seen in another famous movie, Jaws. Did you know this about Cars 3? Dynaco racer Cal Weathers is named after actor Carl Weathers, who played boxing champ Apollo Creed in the Rocky series. Weathers also voiced Combat Carl in the Toy Story short. Toy Story of Terror Did you notice this in Ratatouille? The room in which Anton Ego writes his review is shaped like a coffin, and the back of his typewriter resembles a skull face, appropriately, because he writes killer reviews. Did you catch this in Monsters University, as Mike rides Archie the Scare Pig into the Jocks fraternity house? Take a look to the left under the tree. It's another signature sighting of the Pizza Planet delivery truck, from Toy Story. Did you know this about Cars 3, an Oceanside training is hardly an original concept. Lightning McQueen and Cruz Ramirez are actually paying tribute to a champ and trainer duo that went before them. I'm talking about Rocky Balboa and Apollo Creed, who ran beside the waves in Rocky 3, during the now practically obligatory sports training montage. Did you catch this in Inside Out? Take a look at the coffee table, under the nail file in the basket. You can see Colette from Ratatouille on the magazine cover. Did you catch this in The Dark Knight Rises? When Bruce Wayne traces the fake fingerprints that Catwoman was wearing, when she cracked his safe, the result shows a Nikolai Andreko. This is the same name that was used by the Joker to author the fake obituary for the mayor in The Dark Knight. Did you catch this in The Dark Knight Rises? When Bruce Wayne traces the fake fingerprints that Catwoman was wearing, when she cracked his safe, the result shows a Nikolai Andreko. This is the same name that was used by the Joker to author the fake obituary for the mayor in The Dark Knight. You missed this in Toy Story, take a close look at the other children who are guests at Andy's birthday party. Notice anything strange about them? How about the fact that they are all Andy? Well at least all the same CGI model. The first Pixar film required such long rendering times for unique characters, that animators cleverly decided to use the same model, for all the children in the quick scene. Did you see this in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? In the book on which this movie was adapted, there is a roofless restaurant scene with a boy wearing Groucho Marx glasses. These are details that the filmmakers were more than happy to honor in the feature film. Did you catch this in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? As the collider consumes matter in the universe, it seems to have found something to swallow up from another universe. The FLDS MDFR from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Did you catch this in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Keep your eyes glued to the screen and your finger on the pause button, when Peter Parker talks about being a so-so popsicle. In the next shot, Peter is slammed against the screen and for a single frame, his face matches the popsicle. Did you notice this in Shazam? Watch closely during the montage when Shazam tests his powers at the abandoned chemical plant, and you'll see that it's not just any old plant but the Ace Chemical Plant, which first featured in Detective Comics number 168. What's so special about that? 
168 is the issue where the Red Hood jumps into a vat of chemicals, to become none other and made than the clown prince of crime the Joker. Did you catch this in Boss Baby, there is a change to a character's costume that happens to be symbolic. When Tim watches the title character arrive at the family home from his room, he is wearing a t-shirt with the digits 01, print on the front of his shirt, by the time he gets downstairs to meet his new baby brother, the digits have changed to 02, this is symbolic of how there are now two brothers in the household. Did you know this about Kung Fu Panda, the peach tree is an important element to the movie, because peach trees are a symbol of immortality in Chinese culture, the leaves and blossoms were also known to be used in Taoist magic, as well as the wood which is said to ward off evil. This is why Master Ugwe's staff is made from that very tree. Did you catch this Easter egg in Kung Fu Panda? Tai Lung breaks Shifu's hip while trying to obtain the dragon scroll, after that, Shifu can be seen limping later on in the movie while training Tigress. This small detail adds a new layer of depth to the characters in the story. What other hidden gems have you found in the movie? Did you catch this in Wreck-It Ralph? If you look at Ralph's arcade game screen, you can see that the high score is 120,501, and this isn't just a random number, it's actually a reference to Disney founder Walt Disney, whose birthday was December 5, 1901, or 12, 05, 01. Did you catch this in Avatar? Look at the wall behind Colonel Quaritch as he delivers an impassioned speech. Remind you of anything? It's meant to look like the American flag complete with stripes, and even the number 50 appearing right where the 50 stars should be. Did you miss this in Avengers Endgame? Take a close look at Korg and you'll notice something different about him. Korg and Thor have both gotten so lazy, that Korg now has moss literally growing on him. Did you miss this in Avengers Endgame? When Thor gains weight, he's always shown to be wearing one particular item. Did you spot what it is? He's always wearing gloves, but not for an in-universe reason. They are used to cover up where the fat suit ends. Did you catch this in Ant-Man? There's a shot of the Avengers compound, and if you look closely, there's a patch of ground that seems to be a little less manicured than the rest. It's the healing burnt patch left by Thor, when he returned to Asgard at the end of Avengers, Age of Ultron. Did you miss this in Zootopia? There was a clue about future Disney movies that was hiding in plain sight. When Officer Hops and Nick spot Duke Weaselton, selling bootleg movies, there's copies of movies that he claims aren't even out yet, including parodies of Moana, which would come out later the same year Zootopia was released, as well as Frozen 2, which wouldn't come out for another three whole years. The other, Giraffic, was a pun on Gigantic, a Disney film which would later be cancelled before being completed. You missed this in Toy Story, take a close look at the other children who are guests at Andy's birthday party. Notice anything strange about them? How about the fact that they are all Andy? Well at least all the same CGI model. The first Pixar film required such long rendering times for unique characters, that animators cleverly decided to use the same model, for all the children in the quick scene. Did you catch this in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, as the collider consumes matter in the universe, it seems to have found something to swallow up from another universe. The FLDS MDFR from Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Did you catch this in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, keep your eyes glued to the screen and your finger on the pause button, when Peter Parker talks about being a so-so popsicle. In the next shot, Peter is slammed against the screen and for a single frame, his face matches the popsicle. Did you notice this in Shazam? Watch closely during the montage when Shazam tests his powers at the abandoned chemical plant, and you'll see that it's not just any old plant but the Ace Chemical Plant, which first featured in Detective Comics number 168, what's so special about that? 168 is the issue where the Red Hood jumps into a vat of chemicals, to become none other and made than the clown prince of crime the Joker. Did you catch this in Boss Baby, there is a change to a character's costume that happens to be symbolic. When Tim watches the title character arrive at the family home from his room, he is wearing a t-shirt with the digits 01, print on the front of his shirt, by the time he gets downstairs to meet his new baby brother, the digits have changed to 02, this is symbolic of how there are now two brothers in the household. Did you know this about Kung Fu Panda, the peach tree is an important element to the movie, because peach trees are a symbol of immortality in Chinese culture, the leaves and blossoms were also known to be used in Taoist magic, as well as the wood which is said to ward off evil. This is why Master Ugwe's staff is made from that very tree. Did you catch this Easter egg in Kung Fu Panda? Tai Lung breaks Shifu's hip while trying to obtain the dragon scroll, after that, Shifu can be seen limping later on in the movie while training Tigress. This small detail adds a new layer of depth to the characters in the story. What other hidden gems have you found in the movie? 
Did you catch this in Wreck-It Ralph? If you look at Ralph's arcade game screen, you can see that the high score is 120,501. And this isn't just a random number, it's actually a reference to Disney founder Walt Disney, whose birthday was December 5, 1901, or 12, 05, 01. Did you miss this in Avengers Endgame? Take a close look at Korg and you'll notice something different about him. Korg and Thor have both gotten so lazy, that Korg now has moss literally growing on him. Did you catch this in Avatar? Look at the wall behind Colonel Quaritch as he delivers an impassioned speech. Remind you of anything? It's meant to look like the American flag complete with stripes, and even the number 50 appearing right where the 50 stars should be. Did you miss this in Avengers Endgame? When Thor gains weight, he's always shown to be wearing one particular item. Did you spot what it is? He's always wearing gloves, but not for an in-universe reason. They are used to cover up where the fat suit ends. Did you catch this in Ant-Man? There's a shot of the Avengers compound, and if you look closely, there's a patch of ground that seems to be a little less manicured than the rest. It's the healing burnt patch left by Thor, when he returned to Asgard at the end of Avengers, Age of Ultron. Did you miss this in Zootopia? There was a clue about future Disney movies that was hiding in plain sight. When Officer Hops and Nick spot Duke Weaselton, selling bootleg movies, there's copies of movies that he claims aren't even out yet, including parodies of Moana, which would come out later the same year Zootopia was released, as well as Frozen 2, which wouldn't come out for another three whole years. The other, Giraffic, was a pun on Gigantic, a Disney film which would later be cancelled before being completed. Did you notice this in Minions, when the Queen's carriage careens into the park, it almost runs over an innocent bird lady. Does she look familiar? She's wearing the same wardrobe as the Pigeon Lady in Central Park, played by Brenda Fricker, in the Christmas comedy sequel, Home Alone 2. Did you know this about Zootopia? There's a reason Chief Bogo wears eyeglasses to read. The movie's directors knew that buffaloes have poor eyesight, so they added this little detail to the character. Did you catch this in Cars? Take a look at the different models Luigi has in stock at Casa Della Tires, and you'll notice Fettuccine tires are regular tires. But in White Walls, they're called Fettuccine Alfredo, after the savory, cheesy white Italian sauce. Did you catch this in Cars 2? The boat in the beginning of the movie, that is transporting Finn McMissile, is an almost exact replica of another popular boat. Do you recognize it? It's the Northwestern 247 from the Discovery Channel television show Deadliest Catch. The boat is even voiced by the Northwestern's captain, Sig Hansen. Did you know this about Cars 3? It might be hard to find on the tracks, but keep your eyes out for a mini blue car, number 31, its sponsor is Triple Dent Gum, the gum with the obnoxious jingle from inside out. You can even buy a toy of the Triple Dent Gum car. Did you catch this in cars? Get a load of Doc Hudson's license plate, 51 HHMD, 51 is his old racing number, HH stands for the type of car he is, a Hudson Hornet, and the MD is for becoming a doctor in Radiator Springs. Did you know this about Sonic the Hedgehog? Crazy Carl's nickname for Sonic is the Blue Devil, it just so happens that's the name of the car driven by Sonic's robotic evil nemesis, Metal Sonic in the kart racing game Sonic Drift Racing. Did you catch this in Sonic the Hedgehog? A lot of speculation has been made about the inspiration, for the Owl Longclaw scene in the film. Due to Longclaw's seemingly maternal relationship with Sonic one of the popular theories is that the character takes inspiration, from the guidebook. Stay Sonic, published in the UK in 1993 by Fantail. According to the guidebook, it states that Sonic was first found by an owl, although this owl was named Sophocles. Did you catch this in Sonic the Hedgehog 2? During Sonic and Knuckles' big showdown in the temple, Knuckles tries tagging Sonic with a barrage of super fast punches. If the way Sonic dodges them looks familiar, that's because you've seen a similar showdown, from the Sonic X cartoon series. Did you catch this in Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Be on the lookout for a deep cut reference during Knuckles flashback sequence, deep in the background you can make out what looks like a temple, it's the shrine of Knuckles race, which can be found in the video game, Sonic Adventure. Did you know this about Zootopia? There's a reason Chief Bogo wears eyeglasses to read. The movie's directors knew that buffaloes have poor eyesight, so they added this little detail to the character. Did you catch this in Cars 2? The boat in the beginning of the movie, that is transporting Finn McMissile, is an almost exact replica of another popular boat. Do you recognize it? It's the Northwestern 247 from the Discovery Channel television show Deadliest Catch. The boat is even voiced by the Northwestern's captain, Sig Hansen. Did you know this about Cars 3? It might be hard to find on the tracks, but keep your eyes out for a mini blue car, 
Number 31, its sponsor is Triple Dent Gum, the gum with the obnoxious jingle from inside out. You can even buy a toy of the Triple Dent Gum car. Did you catch this in cars? Get a load of Doc Hudson's license plate, 51 HHMD, 51 is his old racing number, HH stands for the type of car he is, a Hudson Hornet, and the MD is for becoming a doctor in Radiator Springs. Did you catch this in Sonic the Hedgehog 2? During Sonic and Knuckles' big showdown in the temple, Knuckles tries tagging Sonic with a barrage of super fast punches. If the way Sonic dodges them looks familiar, that's because you've seen a similar showdown, from the Sonic X cartoon series. Did you catch this in Sonic the Hedgehog? A lot of speculation has been made about the inspiration, for the Owl Longclaw scene in the film. Due to Longclaw's seemingly maternal relationship with Sonic one of the popular theories is that the character takes inspiration, from the guidebook. Stay Sonic, published in the UK in 1993 by Fantail. According to the guidebook, it states that Sonic was first found by an owl, although this owl was named Sophocles.